Well, it's uh, six o'clock, <coughs> a little after, and today we take home the boat. So I am picking up my homeboy Steve, who hopefully comes out of his house soon, and then we have a Uber ride out to uh, the middle of Long Island. So normally not a big deal, I'm sure, for most people to sail a boat. I don't know, maybe like a hundred miles. I really honestly don't know. Um, did the math. I, I got it written down somewhere, but not a big deal for most people. Big, big deal for me. <laughs> I've never, like, I don't sail. So I never sailed. Um, I've been on a couple of sail boats, but I've never actually sailed, sailed. So I bought a sailboat and I now have to bring it home um, through the sound and then through Hellgate which is what has me nervous, right? So Hellgate, you have to hit, you have to be pretty avid with the water. You have to hit it at a very specific time, um, especially because my boat only has uh, the capability of doing seven knots and that is in perfect conditions. So if the tide is flowing at me at five knots and that's all I'm making, I'm not gonna move. So even motoring, I won't be able to get through Hellgate. So we got to hit Hellgate today at 3.54, but we're in deep shit. And I think we have about 40 miles or 50 miles we have to sail to Hellgate. So I'm hoping to be on the water by 10, and then uh, we'll see how it goes, but we'll see. All right, we just pulled off the dock. Steve. Here we go. Here we go. We're Get ready for our adventure. Eaton's neck. And uh, let's see if we can't reverse this. This is Steve. Say hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Hell's Gate. We got this. It's a little fucking rough here today. You can't really probably tell from uh, the phone, but we got some rollers. We got some swirlers. These are probably you could probably like three and a half foot furlers. All right, I gotta go. I love you. All right, yo, so we made it through fucking Hell's Gate. Uh, we are now in Manhattan. We're just cruising, coming up on Red Hook, Brooklyn. We'll go around the battery, and if we are lucky, we're going to hit slack tide by the time we hit the battery, and then we're going to get a flood tide going up the Hudson, so pretty fucking awesome. Um, I wore my Speedo for a little bit, a lot of fun. Steve? Yes, a lot of fun. Tons of fun, tons of fun. Anyway, apparently I am a navigator along with my homeboy here. Um, if you guys want to go to Europe, let us know. We'll get you there in 10 months. All right? Talk to you soon. Bye. Well, we're in the Hudson River now. She's behind the helm again. We're in the Hudson, and we're tired, and we're fighting a current. Thanks, Vlad. And um, we get home, we get home. But motor's powering. Keep pumping out the bilge. It is what it is. I think we're crossing the Midtown Tunnel. Midtown Tunnel. A lot of water taxis still. Fun time, but we're almost home. I mean, in the scheme of things. <laughs> Cheers. It's four o'clock in the morning now. Uh, I just had a couple minutes to rest my eyes. Thanks to my homie. He's now resting his eyes. And there we go. We are at the Tappan Zee Bridge. <coughs> Fighting the current the entire way up the Hudson. Awesome, awesome time. Um, but yeah, we're at the Tappan Zee Bridge. And I don't know. I'm too tired to really have anything else. So I got about another two hours to the marina. So, cool beans. Keep in touch. Cheers. All right. So, I guess I technically just finished the uh, the voyage. I just cleaned the boat up, went over the lines, got rid of all the garbage, uh, took Steve and I, and again, a huge shout out to Steve and his beautiful wife, Sarah, for allowing him to come with me. Um, took us 22 hours. The 
problem was we hit the tides wrong and uh, the battery. So we fought the current the entire way up to Hudson, going about a mile an hour, if not sometimes backwards. But uh, yeah, she's here and we did it. But I would not recommend buying a boat from that far away. Uh, I just checked my maps and it was actually 157 nautical miles to get home uh, with an average speed of three and a half knots. So that was a very, very, very long day. Anyway, we made it, we're alive. For anyone I didn't reach back out to, I'm sorry. I've been grumpy, tired, uh, super stressful yesterday with the thunderstorms that came through. We wound up having to throw an anchor out. So if I did not respond to you, I'm not trying to be a dick, I'm sorry. Love you guys for thinking about me. And uh, cool, boat's back. Let me know when you want to go sailing. Yes.